Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora and on today's video we are going to be creating a beach bar on Palea. Now today's build does require a room glitch and basically what we're going to be doing is tearing a room off a harvest house. Now if you don't have a friend to help you with this or a second account, you can skip this step and just extend the building blocks out and build your own structure for the bar. But this glitch is honestly really easy to do and doesn't take long to create. So I might ramble during this a little bit so I'm sorry but basically what you're going to do is one person is going to grab the harvest house. So in this case, that is me and I'm going to be placing this where I want the build to be. Your friend is going to grab the medium room attached to the harvest house. They're not going to grab this yet because I'm going to place the house first. Once I place my house exactly where I want it to be ghosted and glitched at, then we're going to go ahead and get our friend to grab onto the room. Now your friend should not drag this room off the harvest house. Just simply click it. It should stay in place where the harvest house is and then I'm going to drag the harvest house away from where it was currently placed but your friend is going to stay where they were. So on my screen you're going to see me drag both the harvest house in medium room but your friend is still going to be exactly where they were. Then after I move the harvest house away we are going to both place the room and the harvest down at the same time. So this is going to have to be timed perfectly. You might have to do this a couple of tries before it actually works but if you've done it correctly you should have your ghosted room just sitting here and then the harvest house should no longer have a room attached to it. It's also important to note that once you ghost this room, you cannot move it or you'll have to redo this glitch again. So definitely keep it in mind and make sure it's exactly where you want it to be placed. And so now that we have this step done, we're gonna move our pavilion where we want it to be placed. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more. That way I can place two rows of these blocks here. That way I can make the lifted deck area that leads up to our beach bar. Now the deck area did take a few trials. So just know I don't, have the exact dimensions for this. I was adjusting the blocks as needed to make it fit in this location. It honestly probably would have been easier if I pre-built this structure and then drug it into place. So definitely do that if you are somebody who wants to measure and make sure everything fits perfectly. This build definitely gave me a ton of trouble when I was recording just because I didn't really know what my plan was for it. Many of my builds I record as I'm just decorating all my plots. I don't really plan anything. So with that being said, I am sorry that today's video is a little chaotic but I do hope it brings you some inspiration. Anyways I'm gonna try to get the base of the deck area started and I'll see you when it's the next step for the build. So this next stage is optional, but I'm just gonna hide and blend out the sides of the ghosted room where you can see the textures are kind of wonky. And then I'm gonna do this on the other side as well. I really liked this addition too because it allowed me to add more wall decor to the build. But if you wanted to skip this step, you totally could. To fill in the sides a little bit better, I'm gonna move some of these blocks in to hide the empty gaps. And you can definitely skip this step too, but I just like that it kind of filled in the area a little bit better. But make sure you leave the front completely empty because we're gonna need this to glitch in our wooden post and this is gonna create our little staircase area. The reason why we're doing the wood pillars first is because you can't place the floor pieces through them. For some reason, it only works this way if you place them down before the flooring pieces in the blocks. So you have to do it in this order to be able to create the railing to my deck area. Also, this is where we're going to be placing the wood pavers on top of them to create railings with them. So eventually this is going to come together. I know it kind of looks sloppy right now, but I promise it does look better once it all is in place. Also, I'm sure this could have been avoided if I just did the build closer inside the pavilion but I'm going to use a gourmet block at the end of this for the last railing that way everything is the same height all the way across and don't worry you won't see this because we'll be blending this out with more blocks and also some plants. Thank you. 
Once all the square blocks are in place, then I'm going to take the floor pieces and two gourmet blocks in between each floor panel, and this is going to create our staircase. After our staircase, then I'll finish up the railings and then we'll decorate the build. So for the railings, you're going to need to use also a gourmet bowl to help glitch in some of the flooring together. And that's the only way, sadly, this can be done unless you space them out a little bit further. But if you want it to look exactly like mine, this glitch is going to be necessary in creating the railing. And all you're going to have to do is just grab the paver with the gourmet bowl on top of it. For some reason, the bowl removes all the collision with that item as long as you're grabbing it by the bowl and it's going to allow you to slide it into the other paver. Next, I'm going to go around on each side of the build and hide any imperfections I see with bushes and flowers and then we're going to go ahead and transition to how the build looks completely decorated. After all my details, here is how the beach bar looks completely decorated. I am so excited with how this build turned out and I hope it brought you some inspiration. As for the ghosted room that goes with our beach bar, I did want to disclaim I'm not finished yet decorating it because I did run out of items and resources, but my plan is to basically turn that back room into the kitchen for the bar. Anyways, before today's video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thanks again for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.